the TW 2016. I'm here once again with a WWE save. Now, I'm doing my current, the, the my own company thing, right? And the other series I'm doing, and that's gonna come out. I I hope to have an episode of that out every day. But this, uh, see, I don't know how often I will re upload these. See, I I I in an ideal world, I would have one one Raw and one SmackDown every week. But, and that's what I'm going to try and do. But I realize once I, when school gets start, starting going again, it might be harder to record these because it takes longer, obviously, to book a Raw than it does my um, own brand new company series. It's a lot easier to book that than it is to book this. Um, so when school gets going, I don't know. But until school starts, so for the next couple weeks, I hope to get one Raw and one SmackDown every week, if not more probably not more but to keep on par with wwe at least like i said until school starts at which starts up again it's a catch-22 on whether or not i keep up with it i plan on keep, keep keeping going with keeping going with it for the foreseeable future but consistently consistency is something that's gonna might that might lack a little bit in this series based on my school commitments Anyway, with that long-winded thing out of the way, this will be the first episode of Raw of the new year, and let's um and no main event, no superstars, no 205 live, just Raw and SmackDown and the pay-per-views. Now we got all that set up out of the way. Let's start. We have a pre-show match: T.J. Perkins and Drew Gulak. Eh, I mean, I really they do better, better, but. WWE's rate ranked on popularity more than in this performance, so until we get them more popular, we'll just have to deal with that. And a great opening segment. All right, Kevin Owens starts off the show in the ring with Chris Jericho, and Owens says, "I don't get it. At the Royal Rumble, I have to defend my championship, yet Roman Roman Reigns doesn't have to defend his. That's biased." Jericho says, "Hey Roman, do you know what happens? Wait, let me restart the Jericho thing. Hey Roman." Do you know what having the odds stacked in your favor gets you? Huh? Do ya? Roman Reigns, you just made the list! And Owen says, Hey, um, uh, I, I think you should put his name on the list a couple times there, buddy. And Owen, Jericho says, You know what? Roman Reigns, you just made the list! Fifteen times! In which case, Stephanie McMahon comes out, music hits, gets in the ring, and Jericho says, Hey, Stephanie, do you know what happens... Do you know what you get for interrupting me and my best friend, huh? Well, do you? Stephanie McMahon, you get a group hug! And Jer Kevin and Chris hug Stephanie, and Stephanie says, Wow, for a second there, Chris, I thought you were going to put me on the list. However, I am out here to announce in tonight's main event, Roman Reigns will defend the U.S. title against Carl Anderson, to which Kevin Owens has a smiley, you know, he's happy. And he says, and Kevin, I'm sorry to say this, but a couple weeks ago... You got under someone's skin, and that certain someone wants to compete against you tonight. And his name is The Big Show. Big Show's music hits. He comes out. Their match is going to start off raw. And a B. B. Kevin Owens beats Big Show. Pop-up powerbomb, which is, uh, I mean, Big Show is looking a lot more lean, mean, fighting machine now. But still, for Kevin Owens to have a pop-up powerbomb on The Big Show, that's impressive right there. Anyway, and after the match, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho... Okay, Roman Reigns comes down to try and spear Owens and Jericho. However, Owens escapes through the crowd, but Jericho gets speared. All right. Now we come back to Monday Night Raw. Rusev defeats Mark Henry, in which case he tries to attack Mark Henry, but Big Cass comes out and makes the save for Henry. Eh. Trying to keep the whole Rusev big cast thing going, but I forgot to add them as a feud. I probably messed up and probably didn't include a couple of feuds that's going down. All right, here we go. New Day is backstage with Stephanie. I tried to write for New Day last last series, couple series. I tried not. I didn't want to, but I'm I'm gonna try this time. All right, Stephanie miss Steph says, "What do you three want?" And Xavier says, "Well, first and foremost, we want to spread the power of positivity throughout the year of 2017." And Kofi says, and secondly, we want R. And Xavier continues, W, W, E, World, Tag, Team, Championships. And Kofi says, 
back to, you know, complete his first thought. Anyway, continuing. Stephanie says, Well, you guys lost your rematch last week. I mean, you guys don't really deserve another chance. Which Biggie says, Steph, Steph, listen. We will do anything your little heart desires. And and I imagine Biggie saying this would make it a lot more funny just the way he would say it. So, I mean, let's go with that. To get another chance to reclaim our championships. And then New Day and Steph says, fine, I'll add you guys to the number one contenders match tonight. You guys happy? And New Day kind of looks at each other, nods, and then just goes skipping down the hallway singing New Day Rocks. Yep, this is what this match should have got. It, it lasted a minute and 16 seconds. Former gunner Phil Shatter <laughs> gets destroyed by Braun Strowman. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't do a thing with Sammy and Braun. That's something I didn't do. Okay, I forgot to do that. Anyway, Braun destroys him. All right. Music uh, hype video for Charlotte and Bailey. I'm going to have to adjust the women's popularity because this match wouldn't be an E+. Plus. It would probably be a C- minus because of Dana. I'm, I, I will, you know what, out of everyone, I'm not going to do it for the Cruiserweights I, to make their matches better, but I will do it for the women to make their matches better because that's just ridiculous. And after the match, Bailey gets attacked by Charlotte and Dana. The match, I forgot to add a promo where Char, Charlotte was basically saying... That to get another shot at me, you have to beat Dana, and Bailey beats Dana. All right, here we go. Kendrick and Sin Cara get a C, get a C minus. All right. Oh yeah, the referee. All right, Neville, here we go. Neville is backstage and says, next week you and I will fight Rich Swan, and I will prove that I should never have been overlooked and why I am the king of the cruiserweights. To be honest, I expected worse from this promo. So, yeah, there we go. All right, yep, that's what this match should have gotten too. <laughs> okay, no, it should have been gotten the same thing as Braun Strowman's match. Anyway, Nia Jax destroys local talent. And after the match, she goes to destroy local talent. Sasha comes out to try and help local talent. And Sasha gets her ass knocked out anyway. Because, <laughs> you know, Nia Jax is big, scary woman. Alright, here we go. Oh, I forgot to... Give, I needed to give it more time because it's a technical master class. I kind of feel like going back and fixing it, to be fair. Anyway, Jericho beats Cesaro after botched interference by Sheamus, so it kind of leads into, hey, Sheamus fucked up, man. Sheamus fucked up Cesaro's match there. Anyway, so Enzo and Cass cut their pre-show stuff. I'm not going to write it out. You all know what their stuff is. And in a C-plus number one contenders match, I forgot to do the tag, do something with the tag team feud, too, with Cesaro and Sheamus and New Day. Oh, well. Oh, well. And a... Um, I didn't mean for there to be eliminations, but I guess there's eliminations. Shining Stars, Enzo, and Cass. Um, the match ended. Um, Rusev attacked Enzo, which cost them the match. Oh, yeah, they, I needed to change his gimmick. Very good. There we go. And after the match, Rusev attacks Big Cass, because during the match he takes out Enzo, and then after the match he takes out Cass. Meh. B plus, here we go. Okay, Seth Rollins a show laid out backstage. So throughout the night, I would imagine the announcers are like, no one's seen Seth Rollins backstage or whatever. Just casually throughout the night, say that, and then we see him being attended to by doctors backstage, as if he was attacked. So the announcers like, who attacked Seth Rollins? And then Triple H just walks by, and Triple H says, hey Seth, continues walking. Seth does his and Seth does his best to try and attack Triple H, but the doctors and referees that are there hold him back and Triple H just laughs as he walks away with Stephanie. All right, here we go. Yes, Car Roman. And about that, a good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Carl Anderson defeated Roman Reigns by pinfall with an Anderson spinebuster following interference from Kevin Owens. And Seth Rollins was not there original is not there now to to help Roman, you know, he's he's delayed. And after the match 
Kevin and Chris go to attack Roman, but Seth Rollins comes limping out with a chair. I would imagine with a chair. I don't imagine a limpy Seth Rollins taking out Owens and Jericho, but, you know, he comes out with a chair or a lead pipe or some kind of weapon, clears the ring of Jericho and Owens to end the show. What did, what did this show get me? What did this show get me? A B plus! Oh my god, yes! I was not expecting that good of a show! I really wasn't! I really, really wasn't. Like, I am, I am happy right now. I am very happy with that. Whew. Let's... Oh, come on. Let me get to the next day, please. Come on, game. I know you have a bit to, to load since it's the first day, but come on. Come on. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the... Like, there's... I, I, I want to call Joe up at some point, but I don't, know, I don't know whether Raw or SmackDown is the way to go with him, or... I don't, I don't know. Yeah, okay, Devon. I he's just a road agent. Speaking of, there's too many goddamn road agents, so I need to fix uh, fix that. Arn Anderson, road agent. You know what? I'll 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 break them up into brands. Arn Anderson, SmackDown. Who would be a good equivalent? Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko, Raw. I'll do that off camera. Um, Sin Cara has morale issues. Fuck Sin Cara. Um, Rich Swan is... Um, Storylines. Yeah, that we didn't get that one. That one sucks. That one... Eh. That one we didn't do. That one we did do. That... Okay, yeah. We have, we have enough for the two Bs. So... Yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.